It is a topic around you with this draft, but also with you winning the Heisman. And you've talked about it even when you won the Heisman, talked about it, and it has to do with your size. And you say how, you know, don't let anybody judge you. So you've had to talk about it a lot, but I want to ask you from a different angle. People always say, how do you overcome it? I'm going to ask you, how is it a, an advantage to you? How have you made it an advantage, and how are you going to use it to your advantage when you get to the NFL? Um, I think it's an advantage because most people, when they see me, they come in with the mindset of, oh, they're just going to be physical and just try to take me out the game that way. But, I mean, that's that's what I prepare for. I mean, I prepare for somebody, for players to come up and try to be physical with me. So, I mean, what you're trying to do to me, I'm preparing for the whole week. So, it's like you're not throwing no curveballs at me. I know what you're going to come with. It's no plan B. That's, you have plan A and that's it. Mm. Tay, what what team would do you think best best fit your skill set? Um, I mean, I'm a playmaker, so I feel like any team. I mean, just anybody that can just get me the ball. That sounds familiar. Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, he plays receiver position, so he feels a certain type of way. Yeah. I ain't mad at him for that. Mac Jones has been climbing the boards right now. Potentially, he could be the third pick of the draft to the San Francisco 49ers. Do you how, – how better yet, how impressed are you with your former quarterback that he can climb the charts post-college football season as fast as he has? I mean, that's that's kind of what I, what I expected, just with how hard he worked. And, I mean, he came in day in and day out. One of the first ones in the building, last one out. So, I mean, like, he's worked – for, for this. I mean, it wasn't given to him. I mean, everybody's going to say, oh, he had me and water and things like that. But, I mean, we wasn't throwing the ball to ourselves. I mean, you just look at the ball placement, some of the things he did. I mean, just his pre-snap reads, just him knowing what defense is trying to do, him knowing what blitzes are coming from, just everything that he he did. I mean, it wasn't just us. It was it was him. him. He helped us. We're a team. We're not doing it by ourselves. So, I mean, it speaks for itself with the things that he's that he's done. I mean, he's he's going to be a great player just because of the way that he prepares. Devontae Smith, NFL draft prospect, should be and could be the number one receiver off the board. Former Alabama Heisman Trophy winner and two-time national champion is joining us here this morning on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin. You were at the NFL at the Senior Bowl and was asked by the scouts and some people that, you know, quarterback-wise, Tua or Mac Jones – and I'm assuming you said Tua over Mac Jones. Why is that? I mean, they're both great quarterbacks. I mean, they, they have different play styles. But um, ultimately, I mean, they're, they're both smart. They come in, they work hard, they do what they have to do, and they get the job done. So, I mean, they're both going to be great quarterbacks. And um, I'm just looking forward to, to seeing what both of them do in the, in the NFL. Hey, Devontae, you know, you've had, I mean, obviously from the season that you guys had to winning the Heisman for you, which was, of course, uh, had to be a thrill and maybe some anticipation leading into uh, the announcement of the Heisman. And now it's the buildup and the wait for this draft. I know how we are on the media side is that it's just all the rumors and the constant speculation and talk of who's going where and mock draft 25.0 that we just keep doing. I don't know how much you follow of it, but obviously you're doing your prep and you're preparing yourself for wherever you're going to end up. What are you, though, doing now? Like, what? where is Devontae Smith now? And, and is there – are you getting nerves? Are you getting anticipation? How are you feeling going into this draft just personally? I mean, I'm just going by day by day. I mean, I'm not feeling no nerves or nothing. I mean, it's just like a, another day to me. But um, just still working out and things like that and just – perfecting my craft still, so just getting better every day. But, I mean, like, I'm – it just feels normal to me. I mean, I guess it didn't hit me yet, but I'm just going about it like it's just another day. There's not like teams you're looking at thinking, uh, what like, you see yourself on a mock somewhere and go, oh, what, what would I do there, what would I do here? Like, that, you don't, you don't let that stuff play around in your head at all, thinking about where you could end up? No, nah, I, don't, I don't too much pay attention to it. I mean, I come across it every now and then if I'm on social media, but, I mean, I don't pay attention to it. Hey, Tay, let me ask you this. Um, you from Alabama, right? No. I mean, Louisiana, my bad. Mm -hmm. My bad. How, how, what's the coldest What's the coldest has gotten in Louisiana? Oh, here we go. Um, 
I would say it took at least probably 30 before or something like that. So you ain't never really played in nothing that's like crazy cold, like in the Frozen minuses tundra. or the twenties or the teens, huh? <laughs> nah. See, you 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 sitting up there telling us, you sitting up here telling me, not us, but me, that you don't care where you go. Okay. <laughs> just just remember I told you that. When you look, when, when, when you out there in Buffalo or Green Bay and they draft you out of nowhere and they're throwing you frozen bricks and you trying to catch them. I'm just just saying, when you start telling us, you talking about I don't care where I go. Okay, you play receiver, bruh. You gonna care where you go. <laughs> How will you be spending draft night, Devontae? Where are you gonna be? What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna be in Cleveland at the draft. Well, there you go. What's be, what what what, what are you wearing? Is oh, my question. Drip time. Yeah. What what you what what you rocking? Let me know. It, it's a surprise. You just gotta wait and see. Oh man, come mm. on, man. Okay, can you tell me the shoes? <laughs> can I get the brand of the shoes? I I don't, I don't know what shoes yet. I got I got some options, so I just gotta look at it and see what I want to go with. Okay. So let me ask you this before we let you get out of here. What's the first thing you gonna purchase with that check? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nah, I ain't gonna spend no money. Oh man, see here we go. Now you, now what was, you. What was the first thing you got? What is the first purchase you made? I when bought that my first mom a car. Was? Right. And then I put a down payment on my mom's house to be built. So, you know. Devonte, he just showed you up. You see what he did there, right? He just big timed you. <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying. You asked me the first thing. I was trying to, because he's sitting here telling us he ain't going to spend no money. I'm like, come on, man. It's me you talking to. 